What's up, guys? <laughs> Lucario Shirona here, and I'm going to do another VTube reactions with the newest episode of Pokemon Evolutions, episode four. And this time it's the plan. Unova Focus. You know, it's actually funny timing because uh, one, of the, one of the videos that was recently uploaded evolved with the Unova Pokemon. Well, in this case, a Hisuian variant of Zora and Zorark. I love that they appear. And then we'll start with watching the plan. A plan. Oh, wait, I need to turn this off. Hold on, I'll get rid of this. Here we go. The plan. So let's begin. CN, so maybe we're going to see some perspective. I've waited so long. Kept my silence so no one uh, could piece guys, together you know, what I, I can't pronounce his name. The truth is this. Uh. I couldn't become the hero and obtain the legendary Pokemon Hey! Oh, the tribes! So I found someone for that purpose. That's a cute. Boy who knew nothing but Pokemon. <laughs> That's cute. Are we actually getting most of it from here? Because we only saw only an image that showed. Oh. Oh man. No, oh, there's that's so cute. Dang. From that moment, I provided him with everything he needed to become the hero of legend and Team Plasma's king. Oh, dang! I love how the animation went. It really gives. <laughs> I can't pronounce it. His name. A different look. It really does sense up an idea that yeah, and did think of him as a father. It really were it really truly gives off that yeah and did trust him. <laughs> of course, it's mostly kind of reanimating the intro, which has a much more cinematic tone than the last game. And I encouraged N to pursue ideals so that his heart burned with a desire to improve the world. <laughs> then we could seize the minds of the people. Okay, let's we'll see how this continues on. Hey, what do you think's going on over there? I don't know. Let's go check it out. Oh, it's Hilda and then a tip pig. Oh, she's gonna see. Uh, I'm curious. So this is also an RV. Yeah, that's cute. Oh um, yeah, Team Plasma. Hey, Sharon. <laughs> it's so bizarre. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your attention. I would like to talk to all of you uh, about the liberation of all Pokemon. It? How did this anime is much different? From whom we humans have much to learn. Now, what is our responsibility towards these wonderful Pokémon? That's right! Mm. We must liberate the Pokémon! Only then will humans um, and Pokémon be truly oh. equal! You know, I think if I remember correctly, and I could be wrong, but and kind of personally approached the player. But I love how this little detail. It shows that, yeah, Ant really is following on his, on his beliefs, but it ends up saying, "There's more." I put him to the test. Could he be the hero who reawakens the legendary Pokemon? Okay. Is it supposed to Zachram or Reshiram? I can't remember. Oh wait, the thumbnail showed Zachram, so I guess kind of. Uh, Spoiled myself seeing who shows up. Zagwam. Free ideals. Yes, it makes sense. Reshiram represents truth, so. For context of the story wise, I guess it really just makes more sense. 
to give and Zachron for this part of to stick to has a uh, story. And showed me that day he was worthy of sharing my name. Uh -huh. we oh yeah. A castle for our king, enveloping the Pokemon League. It is a symbol. It means Unova will change. Uh huh. And then. <laughs> And defeats Alder. Okay, here we go. Oh, they toned down the brightness. What would it be like if. Oh, who knows? Who knows? Ugh. Oh dang. Oh. Now, the strongest trainer of all, accompanied by his legendary Pokémon, has battled the oh. champion and won. Oh. Dang. Please. Don't separate people from Pokemon! I beg you! <laughs> Forget your yeah. destiny and always follow your heart, for your spirit is good, pure, and innocent. And there is nothing more yeah. beautiful and terrifying than innocence. Yeah. And there he is again. It's time yes I've waited oh so uh, then long. here we are the most but his the real most painful days are at an end my uh. perfect plan is nearly complete team plasma will fan out and liberate yeah. every single Pokemon from every single person and then release them all into the world in order to rule it utterly Ah, yes. <laughs> you have obtained the Lightstone. Woo! Come on, Ilda, bring us rest your <laughs> ...to keep the world as it is. You must battle our king. Go onward. Discover whether you have what it takes to be a hero. Of course. So, we're mostly seeing from... I mean... Oh, we got a little more. Oh man, I just realized Anna has not spoken one bit in the episode. Really speak right here? I just realized he's not wearing his hat at all. Zekrom, come to me! Oh, there we go, now he speaks. <laughs> That's pretty sick. <laughs> oh. Sweat. I won't allow anyone to stop me. No matter who does what. Oh, because he's fresh, fresh around around the world come out. will be mine. Huh. Okay, is there credits? The plan. And nope. Nope. Okay, fine. So it does another one that doesn't get us that much of treatment compared to to uh Sun and Moon's episode. Which is honestly my least favorite because we kinda of already get Lily's perspective already. It's just extensive, but then also here we I can't say for certain about my thoughts about this episode. It's it's fine. I think we're just getting a bit more perspective on Guy. I still can't even I guess plans. So we do get a little. We do. I will say this. We do have a little bit that shows and. 
why he would approach the protagonist of Black and White. It was a nice little detail when they showed uh, Hilda feeding her tepega uh, berry, orange berry. So that's a nice detail that kind of kind of gives and a reason to befriend the protagonist. And that it's like, I think it's more of a fact that we're getting more of, it's more of an extension of Gaiga's. And yeah, I mean, if I'm going to be honest, it's just pretty typical. Team Plasma is a very weird villainous organization team where they just Tell you the most weirdest that they tell people to let go of their Pokemon. It was a weird time because that was like, wait, why are they doing this? Why are the villain team is doing this? Where the entire time, trainer, the entire time the game is about trying to well, capture, capturing Pokemon. So it was weird. And then. And then Gaiga's motivation was just more your typical, oh my god, I want to take over the world. But yeah, the only really real standout towards the, the only actual real standout within the story is in himself, his beliefs. So it really is more about, about and that makes up for Team Plasma as a whole. It's not, I wouldn't say it's one of the most solid villainous teams, but Anne makes up, makes up the whole thing, like really glues it together. Other than that, without Anne, it's just your pretty weird direction for a villainous team overall, just to go conquer the world. So yeah, it's not the best, it's just not really giving me much to right home about in comparison to Lysandre where he actually shows why he actually why he's doing it. So it's not the best. I would say it's we do get to see a bit more for uh, I guess we actually see a bit of Anne there. We see how he started to get a little uncertain about his beliefs. So I say it's not, it's not the best, so I would say it's probably... Um, it's probably the second or third best. Second to third. Second to third. First is Alexandre's episode, Visionary. I'm going to have to think this over about for... The first episode, or this one, or, or the plan is better. Lily, so Lily's episode, not bad, but like I said, the only my problem is about the 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 Ultra Sun of the Moon episode is that you already know the perspective, so it's not much I can write home about there. So yeah, that's the episode. I hope you like it. Give it a like and subscribe. Tell me what you think about about the episode. Do you think it's Better than than Leon's episode or worse? It's hard to say because I'm real. I'm seeing this as more of a extended extended uh dang I forgot that word is the extended uh, perspective. Yeah, perspective. Yeah. Until then, see ya.